attractive. Hello and welcome to What's for Dinner, where every day we have a wonderful, wonderful time and we make really delicious meals and we have a good time and we respect each other we in the kitchen, do. don't we? My name is Mary J. Eustace Caustic. And I'm... Uh, no, you're not a caustic. I am so a caustic. What label is that? What's Sicily? Yeah, that's it, a very nice label. Is it expensive? It's very. Now, what are you doing today, sir? Pumpkin I'm very excited. Really? Mm -hmm. Mortgage? What are you I'm making? I'm doing a grilled steak, but I'm going to do it on the stove in my grilling pan. And it's a gr grilled steak oh. salad with creamy mustard. There you go. And it's very low in fat. Didn't you do that yesterday with, like, creamy tomato or something? You just did yeah. it yesterday. You're a bad boy. <laughs> oh, okay. You are. <laughs> that could be construed as sexual harassment. Sexual harassment. What I'm doing today is something very unique and totally that I thought up on my own. And it's a grilled vegetable lasagna. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grill my vegetables and use my vegetables as noodles. Yeah, and, and then I'm going to use some roasted red peppers and some goat cheese and ricotta. And I'm going to construct a lasagna purely out of vegetables. And I'm doing a conch chowder over there at my soup station. You're doing some conker? Yeah. Where's your... Oh, my gosh, look at your conks. Are you going to suck those babies <laughs> out of the shell? <laughs> Are we that low budge? you got to stay uh, tuned for that. I would stay girl. tuned for that you to watch that, girl. wouldn't you? Yeah. Yuck, ooh, see you in a minute on what's for dinner. <laughs> Come here. Are you going to do Hello and welcome back to What's for Dinner. I'm just going <laughs> What is for dinner? I'm just Look going to Ken. do... Uh, you know, I have to focus. <laughs> you do have to focus. You, you, you always you, do this you're wearing me. A really me bad, You're wearing a really bad rouge color today. Am I? Yeah. I look healthy, I think. Well, though. look at this. You've got... Uh, uh, no touch in the merch. All of a sudden, I can't touch. I'm it's going really to grill, mine. start to grill my steak. Because indoors, I need though. To, yeah, indoors. Right. I'm not going out there because you're going out there. I'm going out there. And... Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of chili powder, oh, pepper, right. and garlic powder. Just coat the steak and grill it. And then Can you I let it cool something? and slice. No. Are, no, no, I'm just going to... You know what? No. You've got to chill out. No. You've got to relax and Kenny smell does the roses. Not, Kenny does not share. No, 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 no. Look at our two dried herb mixtures together. I'm going to make them touch. Oh, <laughs> Because we're unity. We're two, you and I. Whatever. Oh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice up my eggplant and uh, my zucchini, and I'm going to grill those. And those are going to be the noodles in our vegetarian lasagna that's grilled. And then I'm going to grill the rest of my vegetables, barely whole. I'm going to... That's nice meat, sweetie. And I'm going to put a little olive oil, balsamic vinegar, some brown sugar, and some lemon, and get these off to the races. Oh, I want to dance. Ken? No, do no, no. Do you want to dance? No. No, don't be dancing in that top. <laughs> do I look like Mrs. Brady? <laughs> or Mr. Brady? Yeah. Little you Mr. look Brady. like the maid on that show. I told you that uh, Greg and Mrs. Brady had a thing, huh? Who? Greg and Mrs. Brady had an affair. Did they really? Didn't you where know did, that? Where did you learn that? Greg Brady, because I'm a huge fan of the Brady Bunch. Mm. You know what my favorite show was, though? My favorite Martian? No. What? No, no. Bewitched. Do you Bewitched remember? Bewitched was good, yeah. And I loved, I loved her mother. Oh, Dora. yeah, yeah, she was good. Yeah, she was great. She was excellent. And Mrs. Kravitz? Mrs. Kravitz across remember the Mrs. street? Kravitz? I do. Now, I'm just putting in my eggplant here, and I'm going to slice up my large zucchini as well and get these off to the races. I'm very professional today. I don't know if you've noticed. You know, I, I, I kind of compare myself to Mrs. Kravitz. In what way? Because <laughs> you're sort of a nosy neighbor? I am. The I know everything. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know cross everything that goes on in my street. Do you really? Yeah. Jill and I sit that's on our... you don't our... have a real job, sweetie. No, I know. We, we sit down on our front porch yes. and we, we see everything that's going on. Yeah. We know everything that's going on at Perry's house. Really? Yeah. You know we got a hot tub. I know. I can't wait. To go in? Oh, oops. Is he going to bring it? The hot uh, tub? Not, no, he's where, not. Where is the hot tub? But he may come and visit us. Really? Yeah. That yeah. would be kind of fun. And um, he got rid of the boat, you know. Because it had a hole in it. As you said. Yeah, is but Perry your best friend? Well, he's, he's your well, only friend, <laughs> pretty much. No, he's, he's a nice chap, you know. But you know what? You know what bugs I'll tell you what bugs me, okay? What bugs you? I am a nosy neighbor. I know everything that's going on. You are on. very nosy. Okay. Wait, I'm dropping my knobs. My knobs <laughs> just dropped on the floor. But you know what? <laughs> what? I, I need to turn this on. <laughs> you do need to turn... I'll tell you. No, I'll tell you. don't put the. You know what happened right. last year? Remember this exploded in somebody's face. That's not good. You were reading your cookbook at the time. You didn't notice, but it was quite upsetting. Okay, you okay. know, you know what bugs me I'm about my neighborhood? Salt and pepper on my vegetables. What? Because Perry minds his own business. Right. Oh, that's but too he's much different. Salt. Like okay. you, yes. Well, he's different. Right. He has, you know, he has up two monster trucks, and he. <gasps> I told you about the garage he built with uh, no windows. You did. It's you a, did. Like, it's a huge wooden structure. Yes. Okay. Now it doesn't quite go with the, you know. 
neighborhood. Yes. Okay, but he, him and his family have been living there for years. Right. And, you know... Uh, Did I tell you I'm moving into a new neighborhood? You are. I'm moving into a new neighborhood. And you know what I noticed about my okay, new I'm neighborhood? Gonna, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> you know what I noticed about my new neighborhood? i got to tell you something. The viewers are going to write in and, and what say, are they you did say? not let the little man finish the story about Perry. No, the viewers are going to say thank you for interrupting. But the point is, they call the cops on him. I don't like that. What was, why did they call the cops on Perry? What well, was he doing? Noisy at times. What, what does he do? Does he party hard? Well, he does. Little, little Harry Perry? He's not. <laughs> Is Harry Perry? Perry Harry? I'm not saying Okay, a thing. I'm taking this stuff out into the grill, and then I'm going to come back and retrieve my peppers and my portobello mushrooms because I'm just going to grill those whole so it's not such a big. Hey, where are my wiener tongs? Do you have my tongers? Where are my wiener tongs? Why did you look at me when you said that? <laughs> I'm looking for the small wiener tongs, and I thought of you. Oh, you know, I love I'm, you. I love you. All I'm right. I'm smelling a letter about that one. No, but you know, in my new neighborhood, Kenny. Yeah. You know what I'm oh. not. You know what I'm not used to in a neighborhood. What? People. People. That's the first thing. <laughs> That's but, number one. Uh, nosy neighbors. Yes. They want to know everything. And everything that goes on. Hey. Yeah. When I was over there the other day. Yeah. Your neighbor. She's a low talker. <laughs> she was low talking. She was. Me. She was like this. Uh. <laughs> well, she and, was. Uh, and I just kept going. Oh really? Oh, dear. oh that sounds great. What that's was good. she doing? She was like mowing her lawn with a butt hanging out of her mouth, low talking to us. But she's very nice. Uh, but uh, the, I find the neighbors really want to. Do you think she watches she, this show? Does she watch the show? I think so. I know Perry does, so I, you know, I got to be careful. Well, actually, when I moved into the neighborhood, because you know we are kind of B celebrities, <laughs> you and uh, I. No, no, no. We're we're at the bottom. Of we're the we're at the bottom. Yeah. Um, they said, "Oh, it's a cooking lady." They were quite excited that I was moving oh, into the neighborhood. You do not like to be referred to as the cooking lady. As the cooking lady. Now, I don't mind. when they referred to me as the cooking lady. You don't mind. It's not a problem. It's not such a big deal. You know, but if the pump were, fits, you got to wear it. They were very gracious. That's my point. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm just putting all my vegetables on the grill and getting these off to the races. And don't you think that this is a bit ingenious, using vegetables as noodles instead of noodles? It's kind of low fat. I'm riveted. Are you? Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, that's. Oh, oh, oh so uh, like I, noise pollution. No, but the, yeah, but the problem noise is pollution. <laughs> the neighborhood. Oh we don't want gosh. any uh, anyone else calling the, you know, cops on us. Okay, and I'm just gonna do this and uh, put in my peppers. But okay. you know, I gotta tell you, when you're living next door to someone, yes, or on, you know, like I live in a fairly populated area. Yes, you do. I don't live in a big estate like some people. Okay. I don't oh. live in a castle like some people. Okay. <laughs> I don't have a husband who, you know, makes that much money. Okay. Right. So, right. So, you know, I have to live closer to you my neighbors. You live in squalor, you poor little thing. <laughs> you live in a little hovel in the... You're a squatter. You squat in people's yards. I live in my car. Oh, you like I live, a, like I live in little, my high endy. You're like a little garden gnome. You wake up but and you there's candy squatting. I, I got the high endy <laughs> washed yesterday. <laughs> Ew, that's Ew. a problem. I've got a trivia question for my cute little friend because he's quite adorable. I'm not doing I've got my peppers. I'm going to put these on the grill too as well as my mushrooms. But I want to ask a question to Kenny. What is the largest type of livestock in the world? Cattle, chickens, or sheep? What is the largest oh, type on. of livestock? Do you think I'm a bimbo or what? <laughs> you, you are a bimbo. That's, you're just a total blonde bimbo who dyes his hair black with shoe <laughs> polish. Have you ever been called a bimbo in your life? No. I have been called a bimbo. Well, hello. <laughs> and your point? How do you think I got this job? <laughs> uh, you slept with me. Oh. Uh. Ooh, double ooh. Can you imagine if I did? Oh, that would not. I did not once. And you so know we'll what? see you in a minute. It's average. And what's for dinner? We're going to do our the steak. Trivia. See you in a minute. I need to put this out. Hello, and welcome back to What's for Dinner. I'm at my soup station. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to start to saute my conch first. You know why? Did somebody drizzle crazy glue over your shirt? What is that? Don't be made. Uh, hey, when you're wearing a shirt like that, this is so I wouldn't be hot. throwing stones. This is like so. No, you don't. Yes. No, you don't. Yes, yes I, I do. Don't you dare. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to beat the trivia question. No, no, I want to show the viewers something. Uh, this girdle effect. <laughs> Uh, Mommy just had a baby. And what I does that to, do? It just sucks it all in because it, I need a little bit of help. Is it painful? <laughs> it's a little painful, but it's worth it to look this good, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> it's I not, it's Listen, not working. I, I want to readdress a trivia question to you. 
What is the largest type of livestock in the world? You should know this. <laughs> Cattle, chickens, or sheep? Or Kenny. <laughs> Kenny? It's, well, come on, it's obvious. <laughs> what is it? It's cattle. You're such an idiot. Chickens. Chickens' population is more than double the human population with over 12 billion. Really? I wish you knew something. That's what I wish. Oh, no. But you know what I thought? Seriously. Okay, I'm, I'm sauteing What I'm going to do my is... I <laughs> I'm sauteing my conch with the, my onion and okay. celery. Now, I'm going to take my ricotta cheese and my goat cheese, and I'm going to mix it together with an egg. And what I'm going to do first, I've got my zucchini and eggplant out on the barbie. I'm going to put in my tomato sauce, and I've got some sun-dried tomatoes, and I'm going to chop those up and put that in my tomato sauce mm -hmm. as well. Oh, so man. here's my ricotta. And I'm going to put in my goat cheese. You know I'm going to mix them together with one egg, and then I'm going to layer. I'm going to layer, I'm going to layer, I'm going to layer. Oh, my girdle's too tight. It's cut off the circulation to my brain. <laughs> <laughs> What's your excuse? Why are you, you wearing orange you... blush? Yeah. Why, why is a 48-year-old man wearing <laughs> blush? Does anybody ask themselves these questions? You know, when you go to the beach in the summer, do you ever sunburn that tongue? Do you? <laughs> Pardon me? Like, it just never stops. <laughs> it's like verbal diarrhea. <laughs> You look that's a bit, not pretty. You look a bit gray today. Do I? You really do. No, your face Well, I'm, does. I'm wearing gray, that's why. Okay. And um, I want the viewers to know you're trying to sabotage my professional <laughs> reputation during the break. You don't have a professional <laughs> reputation. You mixed um, my dried herb mixture together. I did. I have an issue myself right now. What? This is a fake egg. Uh, you, come here. Thank you. Thank you very much. This show has gone to the dogs, Kenny. Now, don't you think? The reason we have to saute our conch is conch is a very, it very... It's oh, raw, baby. Conch, where's the camera? <laughs> conch is a very... Please, pay attention to me, people. Conch is a very hard and firm <laughs> seafood. So you either have to pound it... You're going to pound your conch? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I'm a mother. I don't need this. They don't pay me enough That's right. to be this person, this That's facade right. of a human being that I've become. I'm going to go retrieve my vegetables. Okay, and That's you know what, what Mary Jo? What? You can buy conch, believe it or not. At your local supermarket? You can. You can not. You can, baby. No, I don't think Trust you can. Trust me. Really? But if you wanted to replace the conch, you could re replace it with can uh, canned clams. <laughs> that sounds delicious. Okay. okay. Now, what I've got here is my veg. Oh, look, they're all beautifully done. And um, I'm going to retrieve these. It's going to take me a while, don't you think? And then I'm going to begin to construct my uh, vegetarian lasagna. What are you doing at your soup station, sir? Okay. <laughs> I've, I've added in... Oh, I have some air. You're time. not at the presentation center, are you? No, I'm at my soup station. Okay. I've added in my carrot, oh, and I'm adding in my red onion. And even though she mixed up my dried herb mixture, it's oregano, salt, pepper, and a bay leaf. In it goes. And we mix that around with eight cups of soup stock and you know as I said this recipe is uh, this soup oh. you can replace it with any other seafood. It almost went up again. <laughs> what? The barbecue. What is I what? almost lost my girdle on that. Did you see it? <laughs> Holy Toledo oh. man. Well hey you don't want to be losing that very important piece of anatomy there. <laughs> it's holding everything in. Yeah. Now, I'm just scraping my vegetables off the barbecue and I'm going to begin to construct my lasagna. Now, Ken. Yes. When we were in Key West, remember when we went on that cruise? Oh, I, I blocked that out of my mind, actually. Where Baby Jack was conceived in cabin 2B um, and 2C. <laughs> Ken. Yes. Okay, I my steak is done. I Just have to question. slice it. Yeah. Uh, did we not have this delicious soup in Key West? This, I need you to move this. I need you okay. to move that. You know what? This is a problem. <laughs> this, you know, I don't get any respect on this show. And I, I, Kenny is going to break down. Okay. Oh, well. Kenny is going to have a breakdown. Why don't you go lie up back just for a little <laughs> while know, in the look. little shop of horrors back there? <laughs> just hold on. Can I you? have been slicing my okay. onions. Okay. And you just come in here, barge in. All right. You know, girdle or no girdle. <laughs> you can't be doing that to Let's Kenny. Let's take it down a notch. Now, okay. what I've done is I've put my vegetables, my eggplant, and my zucchini, like so. And then what I'm going to do, Kenny, I think this is kind of a cool idea, is layer the ricotta and the goat cheese and the egg as such. Right. Please support me. I will. Okay. Not just my hose <laughs> and my girdle. I actually have an extra one in my dressing room. But if you try it on, we can't take it back. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right? So don't okay. think you can use it. What and were not you talking? You, were ta you started a story about the cruise. And Putting the in my basil. 
know that we had this conch chowder in Key West. Oh, remember that? It was delicious. Oh, yeah, and the key lime pie. It was wonderful. Ooh, now, I'm just going to sprinkle some olives, and I myself have a dry herb mixture of a little um, oregano and basil and cumin, and I'm going to put that in my tomato sauce, which is just stewed, uh, stewed tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, and we'll mix this in. Okay. And, oh, can would you do me one little favor? Okay. One little itty bitty favor? Yeah, uh, yes, you're going to. Can you cut my mushrooms, <laughs> please? If please? I get, I'm going to tell you something. Yes? If I get any of this mushroom juice <laughs> on this outfit, you're going to have to remortgage your whole house. Are you going to take it back to the kids' department? <laughs> <laughs> when they see you walk in, what do they do? Oh, they, they, they see dollar signs. Do they get a bit nervous? No. Okay, I am just layering. Kenny, how are my mushrooms going? Quite well? Very well. We're going to put a little tomato sauce. Eggplant is very perishable. Did you know that? You probably only want to keep it in your fridge for one or two days after purchase. purchase. And you know what? What? Eggplant gives me uh, a pro <laughs> problem. Can we discuss that on air? The problem, the problem that eggplant gives me? Do you hear voices? <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear voices all the time. <laughs> I know you do. What happens? Well, you know, it's, it's just kind of a... Gives me... Oh! <laughs> you know, it gives me... Gas, okay? All right. Wow, we really had to force that out of you. Uh, you're going to get the viewer mail, and I am layering my um, beautiful, delicious, wonderful lasagna. Dear Mary Joe and Little Guy. Oh. Here, here, there. How are you? My name is. Hi there. Probably. Uh, oh, yeah. hi there. <laughs> Hello there. My name is Jody Masters, and I was letting just letting you know how much I love your recipes and all the joke and name calling, especially when Mary Jo interrupts all of Ken's tips and substitutions. That's a problem. It's not a problem. Ken, is that really a wig? Oh. Absolutely. Come on. It's not. It's a bad one, too. Anyway, getting back to the show, as I said before... I bet you get your wigs free when you buy your outfits. Do they just toss in a wig? <laughs> they do. Okay, I've constructed my lasagna. I'm going to put my Parmesan cheese, and this is going in the oven at 375 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes. Doesn't that sound good? See you in a minute on what's for dinner. Goodbye. Okay, all right, here we go. That's it. All right, all right, quit. What? 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 What's wrong? What? What? You have a problem with that? Because you don't. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back to What's for Dinner. I've just added in my half a cup of non-fat yogurt. In goes my garlic for my creamy garlic and Dijon <laughs> mustard sauce. Mm. Some lemon juice. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, some lemon juice, balsamic vinegar. Really That's dark. not good. That's no, not dorky. good. And some W sauce, and oh my dried herb mixture. Which is oh, never mind. Just, <laughs> just get it's, it in it's there. It's half dried herb <laughs> mixture and half what's the other part? Sour cream? Yeah, no. What no. is it? Dried herb mix. Yeah, Non-fat yogurt. You're, you're <laughs> interrupting me. I'm just watching you work. It's very sexy. Okay, and in goes my. What did I put? Dijon mustard. You did put Dijon. Then you're going to pour it over your beef? Right. All right. No, the dried herb mixture has chili. Oh, don't worry about it. They're all the same. Just put it on top of the, the hooey hooey. Now, I'm going to get my vegetarian lasagna, and I'm going to retrieve it from the oven. And I switched ovens because I didn't want to use the upper oven. I, I just thought, I want to go lower. So here, oh, my goodness gracious. How low can you go? Oh, I can go low. And I topped it with goat cheese and Parmesan and some basil. Does that not look delicious? I think soup what? station. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm going to do something from from the cupboard. What are I'm you opening do? my closet. And you're coming out. <laughs> I'm going, and I'm going. I'm going don't to open. Add clams. I'm going to add clams. Why you went and you got fresh conch? Don't add no, I, I, I clams to your soup. You got some fresh fish and you're going to use canned. You don't know anything about <laughs> fish. You're not using this. I refuse. Mama. You're not using it. Okay, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not using it, I'm stirring. Okay, what I'm going to do is I've got some nice fresh herbs and I'm just going to drizzle them over my lasagna and I'm actually going to cut a piece. I'm so this is going to be delicious, our dinner tonight. What? One cup of cream. Right. But if you wanted to, you could replace this. <laughs> with what? Mama, can we replace it with skim milk? <laughs> yes, of course you okay, could. Okay, good. So I've added in my cream. Yes. If I wanted to, I could have added in the clams or shrimp or crab meat or anything No, but like my that. thinking was that you I, had some beautiful fresh fish today, and why you know would what? you want to use canned? You know what? You're absolutely right. I think I am right. Yes. So you're going to put your soup into your bowl, and you've right. got this. What's this? This is a beef. Uh, <laughs> what's this? <laughs> what is this? It's beef with a mus uh, mustard. Creamy mustard and garlic sauce. Look at this. <laughs> 
And I have my conch chowder. This is my, oh, this is my uh, vegetarian lasagna that I've made. And I think that we're going to wrap it up here on what's for dinner. Oh, we're that looks... We're a bit confused You know today, what? It looks good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, do you think so? It looks oh, wonderful. Oh, Kenny, that looks really delicious. You Look could have the little that. fish crackers in. I See know. you next time on what's for dinner. See ya. Bye-bye. Oh, sorry I made fun of you.